Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have been on a roll today. I have been doing some videos. So if you see me in the same outfit, that's because I'm doing the videos in the same day. So today I have some polishes from Color Club. Um, I went to Trans Design. I found out on Instagram and YouTube that Trans Design had some polishes Color Club for 99 cents. So I bought some Color Club polishes and I bought some IBD polishes, but I did the IBD polishes in a separate video. So I didn't want it to be too long. So I'm going to give you um, a quick review of these Color Club polishes. Just let me let you know that I did a video on these and I did swatches, but it was just going to take me way too long to get all that edited. I just was not in the mood. So I had the swatch sticks, had the video, decided to scrap the video. Then I said I can just do this video and show you the polishes and show you the swatch sticks, but I can't find the swatch sticks. I also lost the swatch sticks to IBD. Um, but I know if I do another set of swatch sticks, which is going to be wasteful, I will find the other ones as soon as I finish swatching those. So I'm not going to swatch them again. I'm just going to tell you what I think about these polishes. Just say a couple of things about them. And um, I re-swatched them on a piece of um, paper. So I pretty much remember what's what about them. So if you want to see what I have, just keep on watching. All right, so we're going to do the first one here. The first one here is called Artsy Crafty. I really love this. It's like a dusty hunter green color. It's not as bright as it looks there. At least it looks bright to me, but it's not that bright. This one was opaque in two to three coats, and it is so pretty on the um, swatch stick. I hope it works on my nails like it does on the swatch sticks because this is a really pretty polish. So this is Artsy Crafty. Look how pretty that is. And before I forget, um, I also did a video on cosmetic art polishes. I really and truly, I need to do some research. I really think that cosmetic arts polishes are actually color club polishes. I don't know for sure, but I think so. Because when I took them out, I had the um, cosmetic arts polishes still on my table because I did a video of these two tonight. And I have the color club polishes here. They're the exact same bottle, exact same top. So I don't know for sure, but maybe they're made by the same company. I don't know. Just a thought. So the next polish I want to show you is called Abyss. This, this is a really pretty um, tillish green color. It's opaque in two coats. It was really smooth. No problems whatsoever. Like it a lot. All right. So this next polish I want to show you is called Ocean View. This is a really, really, really pretty color polish let me show you okay look how pretty and beautiful and bright that is it's like a really beautiful sky blue color the color is beautiful but this is a textured polish and this polish literally made my skin crawl i can feel the hairs on my arm standing up now it made my skin crawl it looks like the little texture part of it moves on the nails and I just hate it was like bubbly or something I don't know and I don't like creepy crawly things it, they make me just yucky I hate them I hate them hate hate creepy crawlies and this reminded me of a bunch of little bugs moving around on the swatch wheel it was disgusting I will never ever ever use this polish again I'm giving this away now, a couple of these polishes I have worn, so I will insert swatch pictures of these. Um, I have two of them. This one here is one, and this one is called Chelsea Girl. And the only reason I actually purchased this polish was because my daughter's name is Chelsea. But I'm so glad I purchased this polish. It is, look how bright that is. It's so beautiful. This is a jelly, and it is opaque in three coats, and it is wonderful it's kind of squishy looking oh i love it love okay look at that look how pretty it is oh it's really really pretty yes so this next polish i want to show you is called you got soul and it is an absolutely beautiful neon orange color with silver holographic glitters in it it is absolutely beautiful so this is silver glitters in it and they're holographic 
absolutely beautiful and it's a little bit textured but it's okay you can put some top coat on it and it is smooth and it's so beautiful this is one of my favorite polishes well this is the favorite one from the whole bunch that i purchased and this one is my second favorite This next polish is called Get Your Limon, and this is like a lemon, so it's like a lemon colored um, polish. And this one has like a little iridescent going on in there. It looks like it's a really light blue or really light green little iridescent going on in there. Um, this will never be opaque in any amount of coats. I did three and I that's my limit but this will never be opaque but it, i think it would be pretty to do a jelly sandwich or something like that or just to put on top of another polish and change the color a little bit i think this would be beautiful look at that it's really bright but it, it's not that bright once you put it on the nail at least it wasn't on the swatch wheel so this next polish i want to show you is called uh ultra ego this is like an eggplant colored uh, metallic polish it has uh some gold holographic shimmers in it and you can see it very very well on the swatch wheel and in the bottle this was opaque in three coats i was really disappointed that it wasn't opaque in one coat because it looks so thick and dark in the bottle and i just thought it was going to be a opaque in one coat and i was disappointed but the polish is so pretty who gives a crap so there it is right there hope you can see all the prettiness in there the next polish i want to show you is called ulterior motive this one is a pinkish red scattered hollow the holographic is very light but you can definitely see it um you can see it more on the swatch wheel than you can in the bottle i don't well maybe neck and neck i don't know but this polish reminds me of the polish I just purchased from Painted Polish. And I'm going to show it to you. This one here is called Monster on Mirkwood. There it is. It's the exact same polish. You just have more hollow in the Painted Polish. I mean the exact same polish. If this one had more hollow, it would be the exact same polish. So, But I'm still glad I have the Painted Polish. <laughs> this one will be opaque in the three coats. The next polish I have to show you is called Glitter Envy. And this one is, reminds me of the, um, what is this one called again? Of uh, You Got Soul. It's the same polish, just a different um, color. Except this one is much thicker than this one. This one will require three coats to be opaque. And it's more of a jelly than it is um, a cream color. Well, we'll say a crelly. Well, it's more of a crelly than it is a cream. And this one does require three coats really really good formula but you do need a um, top coat with this one too so the last one i have is called uh femme fatale i'm pretty sure i already have this one i don't even know why i picked this one up and if if not i have some other ones like this so i really wish i hadn't picked this one up but it was 99 cents so it's okay um this one is just one of those polishes that's the iridescent in it and it changed the colors of another polish it makes it look completely different and that's all it is so that is it guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions or comments please don't forget to leave them down below don't forget to subscribe hit that button and i will see you in my next video